Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor, and in today's video we're going to be talking about angles in a circle. So there's going to be three major kinds we're going to be talking about today. The first one is the central angle, and this is probably the easiest one. It's very simple. Let's say that I have a dot and this is the very center of the circle. And let's just make up an angle like this. And let's say that angle right there is 30 degrees. What that means is that the arc length right here, I'll highlight it in blue, is also going to be 30 degrees. And that's all it is. So in other words, if I have an angle, let's say, over here, and this one's, let's say, 110 degrees, well then that means the arc length over here is 110 degrees. And then what would be the remaining arc length over here in green? Well, if you think of it, that would just be the total circle, which is 360 degrees minus 110 degrees minus 30 degrees, which leaves us with an angle of 220 degrees, which means the green is also going to be 220 degrees for a total of 360 degrees. So that's it for the central angle, definitely the easiest one. Next we have the inscribed angle. And an inscribed angle sounds scary, but it's really not that bad. For the inscribed angle, let's say we have this circle right here, here's the center, and you'll notice that my angle is going to have nothing to do with the center. So in other words, let's say it's like right here and goes right there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to erase the center because we don't even need it. But let's say this angle right here, let's say it's 20 degrees. So here's what you do for inscribed angles. Basically, the angle forms on somewhere on the perimeter or the circumference of the circle. It's easy. Whatever your arc length is, you just double the angle. So 20 times 2, that's a 40 degree arc length on the side. Let's just do another quick one. Let's say I have this circle this time. And this time I'm going to draw two angles. One goes like this and goes there. And then the other angle I'll draw in red starts right there and goes right there. Now I'm going to tell you that this angle here on the left is 15 degrees. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to solve for x, the angle of the other one. So all you need to do is first tell me what the arc length is. This arc length of course is going to be double this angle, 15 degrees, so that's 30 degrees. And then if you want to go backwards, in other words I have 30, and now I want to go to the red angle, you just divide by 2. So it looks like x is going to be 15 degrees, in other words it's the same as the black. As a matter of fact, we technically didn't even need to find the arc length of 30. We could have just said that's 15 because they have common points on the edges of the circle. It's automatically going to be 15 degrees as well. Here's another problem that's going to combine the inscribed angle with the central angle. So let's say here's my central angle, and we've got this going on right here. We'll call that x. We've got another angle right here that's connected to the two points just like that. And we're going to call this angle y. And I'm going to tell you that the arc length right here, let's say that arc length is 36 degrees. My question is solve for x and y. So as we said before, x is a central angle, and since x is a central angle, that just means it's equal to 36, because it's the same as the arc length. Now to get to y, all you gotta do is remember that's an inscribed angle, which means you just have to divide the arc length by 2. 36 over 2 is 18, so that's what y is. y is 18 degrees, x is 36. It's as simple as that. And then the only other kind of angle we have left is the intersecting chords. So let's say I have a circle and I am going to draw two random lines like this, okay? Now I'm going to say this section right here in red, this arc length, we'll call it A. I'm going to call the other arc length on the other side, I'm going to call that B. And then what I'm going to say is I'm going to say the two angles in the middle, I'm just going to call them both X. And the secret is the formula to solve for X, A, or B is to use the fact that x equals a plus b divided by 2. In other words, it's the average of a and b. That's the average formula. So let's look at an example with this. Let's go ahead and draw one more circle. Let's say I've got this chord right here and this chord right here. 
if you didn't know, a chord is just a line through a circle. And let's say this angle right here is 38 degrees. And I'm gonna tell you this angle right here is 100 degrees. And the question is, how can I find this angle at the top, the arc length, which I will be calling C. So how do I solve for C? Well, the first thing you need to know is with the formula, X equals A plus B over two, I know I messed you up here with the variable names, but that doesn't matter. We can say that A is 38, X is this angle right here, or the vertical angle, because remember vertical angles are congruent, so it's one of those two. And then C is ultimately what I'm solving for. We can call that B in the equation, doesn't matter. So the first question is how do we find X? Because I gave us that 100 degree angle, how am I gonna find X? Well basically what you need to know, X and the 100 must be supplemental angles, which means they add up to 180. So in other words, 100 plus X equals 180, it looks like X equals 80 degrees. So with that, I can replace that X and the other X with 80 degrees for both. And now I have enough information to solve. So all I need to do now is say 80 equals A plus B, 38 plus C in this case, divided by two and then solve for C. So all I'm gonna do is multiply 80 by two, I get 160 equals 38 plus C. And then just subtract 38, I'm gonna get C equals 122 degrees. And that's the arc length for that one. So hopefully you have a better understanding now of central angles, inscribed angles, and intersecting chords. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.